Let's derive the expression for displacement of a particle in simple harmonic motion. The formula is given by xt is equal to a cos omega t plus phi. Let's say there is a particle which oscillates between point A and B and let AB also be the diameter of the circle. Okay, so let this point be O and let this be equilibrium position. So the displacement from O to B represents the amplitude which is also the radius of the circle. Okay. So if this particle oscillates and let's say there is another particle here which goes which follows the circumference of the circle. Can we establish a relationship between these two particles? Let's say there is a source of light and it falls on this particle in such a way that its shadow is vertically downward on this line. Let it be a screen. So it falls on this line. Now when this particle moves from B to A, its shadow will also move from B to A. So we can say that the motion of this particle mimics the motion of this particle. Now can we use this relationship to find the displacement of the particle? Before I begin, let me define what a radian is. So radian is equal to length of arc over radius and it's one radian when length of arc is equal to the radius so radius over radius would cancel and give you one so let's say there's a circle right and this is radius and this is radius and let's say this part is also equal to radius in that case the theta would be one radian and let's also define omega omega is 2 pi over t so how much time does it takes for a particle to cover 2 pi which is 360 degrees which is one full circle that's angular velocity and so let's say that let's take an example 2 pi is 2 into 3.14 approximately which is 6.28 so let's say a particle takes 6.28 seconds to complete one full revolution in that case its angular velocity would be one radians per second right so let's look at this expression omega t and let's say what is omega t we know what is omega we just calculated it as one radians in our example and this t is different from this t this is the total time this is a smaller time right so let's say our in our case the omega is one, uh, one radians per second and then what would it be after one second right it takes 6.28 seconds to complete one full circle but in one second how much distance will this particle cover so that would be 1 into 1 omega is 1 into 1 is equal to 1 radians so it would cover a distance of let's say about 1 radians similarly after 2 seconds it will cover 1 into 2 is equal to 2 radians so 2 radians right something like this it should be bigger actually 1 radian 2 radian 3 radians after 3 seconds and similarly in 6.28 seconds it will cover the full circle. Now we have established that omega t gives you theta. Let's say this is theta. So after one second let's say it covers this much distance. Right? So how did we calculate this distance? It's omega t. Right? So theta is equal to omega t actually it's this so this would be something like after 0.9 seconds whatever so theta corresponds to omega t it's quite clear in radians and then how do we how do we find out this distance what is displacement displacement is from the mean position or equilibrium position to wherever the particle is so let's say after omega t times so this particle reaches here the, the particle on the circle and let me drop it down to this point right so this this particle which was right here will come to this place 
and let this distance be the displacement d now what is cos theta cos theta is equal to adjacent side which is d over hypotenuse and hypotenuse is the amplitude right i i described in the beginning so displacement is equal to a times cos theta right and we know that theta is omega t so a times cos of omega t right so it's similar we have the expression almost so this is how we can calculate the displacement but what is phi phi is the phase constant right what is phase constant now let's say that um, the particle um, is is at time t is equal to zero it's not here right let's say this particle is somewhere here and this particle is somewhere here so at time t is equal to zero it's somewhere here and somewhere here so we will have to account for this discrepancy we'll have to account for this distance right this displacement and the way we do it is by adding phi to omega t so let me explain omega t let's say we have to make a graph of cos theta we know cos 0 is 1 right so in our original example let's say this the radius of this circle is 1 right 1 millimeter whatever and the amplitude would also be 1 millimeter right so this a is equal to 1 so our graph would be cos 0 is 1 cos 90 or pi by 2 is 0 so the graph would go something like this and then negative pi by 2 and whatever negative pi over 2 so this would be our normal case but I'm saying that at t is equal to 0 let's say the particle is here and we need to account for it right so this angle is negative theta right if we measure anti-clockwise the angle is negative theta so I will need to add plus theta to it and let's say this theta is pi over 4 or 45 degrees that's what it looks like so let's say it's pi over 4 right so we know that if cos omega t plus phi is equal to uh, if this part is equal to 0 then we have 1 so let's say omega t plus phi is equal to 0 which would give omega t is equal to negative phi right and in our example I said it's pi by 4 right so omega t is will have to be equal to pi negative pi by 4 so if phi is pi by 4 omega t will have to be negative pi over 4 right so to account for this negative pi over 4 I'm gonna say that my graph is somewhere here it it the amplitude would be at maximum at at when omega t is negative pi over 4 this whole thing will have to be 0 so cause the cause will be maximum only at this point but what would omega t be at this point omega t would be negative pi over 4 right so I'm gonna say that when omega t is negative pi over 4 this is negative pi over 2 my amplitude is maximum and amplitude and this would be say pi over 4 right so we can say that it leads right the, it maxes out before this point right the other other graph so we can say that it leads the cause um, cause omega t function by pi over 4 degrees so that's that's what phase constant represents I hope it is clear if it is not please comment in the comment section and I will try to clarify now 
now that um, a cos omega t plus y uh, another point I wanted to uh, tell you is that a could be 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. It's not necessarily that one. It's just for the example that I've taken it as one. If it were 2, it would cut it, cut the y-axis here. Two. If amplitude were 2, if it were 3, higher, and so on. So this is how we can derive the formula a cos omega t plus 5 plus phi is the displacement of a particle in simple harmonic motion. But it's not necessary that we only consider cause. It can also be sign. Let me say, let me give you another example. Let's say this is a circle, right? And the particle is oscillating in this manner, right? Or I'm taking shadow right here, okay? And let's say this particle is moving in circle and light source is here, okay? So at this point, let this be equilibrium and the particle is moving in this manner and in this manner, right? So this is amplitude which is equal to the radius, right? So what will happen? Let's say this is omega t or theta. So after small t time, the particle reaches this place right so what would be the displacement from equilibrium this would be the displacement which will be equal to this right and the way to find this is sine theta sine theta is equal to let's say displacement and this is O. this is a whatever so sine theta is equal to d over and this is amplitude the radius is the amplitude just as in the example before so in this case displacement would be or let me say x would be equal to a sine theta or a sine omega t and if you follow the previous example it can be a sine omega t plus phi i'm not going to explain again it's the same thing right so the displacement can be a sine omega t plus phi as well it just depends on what the position of the particle is so let me explain that uh, let's say at time t is equal to 0 right this, this is where the particle would be on the circular path so at time t is equal to 0 this this particle would be somewhere here this particle which is moving along y and z right y and z would be at the equilibrium so if the particle is at the equilibrium we say we use this formula a sine omega t plus phi if at t time t is equal to zero if the particle is at equilibrium we'll use this formula but if the particle at time t is equal to zero at is at its maximum displacement we'll use the formula a cos omega t plus phi so that's the only difference both formulas are correct um, and that's all in this video i hope you like the explanation if there was something that I couldn't explain well, please comment below and I'll try to make a better video. If you liked my explanation, please click on the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel.